morning. I'm Tom Stevenson with Geneva Equipment. This morning we're going to do a walk around a frack tank and show you different ways of lifting it up so you can back a truck under it. A regular semi truck works fine. We'll get started, walk over, and uh, walk you around the tank and show you different ways that we can do things. Okay, Miguel and I are going to uh, show you different ways to get a frack tank up to 47 inches high at the front so you can back a truck under it. First one is blocks. If you, if you get caught short and you don't have anything you can figure out to use, and you run to the store and get railroad ties, get two railroad ties, cut them in six pieces each, you can block it up. The other way is stands that we have made because we use them almost every day. And then we have the wrecker as well. If you feel that you have to have a wrecker, a wrecker can come in, pick up the front. And uh, the, the wrecker forklift has had the capability of uh, lifting a minimum of 8,000 pounds. Okay, as you can see, we've got the blocks spaced out uniformly, and they're heavy duty enough to withstand the weight, because you don't want the blocks collapsing under the weight of the tank. And that's also why sometimes we use our uh, steel stands as well, and then also use the wrecker as well. Now we're ready to back the truck under it. Okay, we just got backed under the tank. Miguel hooked up the air hoses and, air, and the light plug, which is the same as any semi-trailer. And then we took the blocks out from under it, and now we're ready to head down the road. Thanks for watching the video today. I'm Tom Stevenson with Geneva Equipment. We'll see you next time.